I started my smart home journey by connecting a Zigbee smart plug like this to Home Assistant. But as a beginner, I just wanted to connect it to my Google Home so that I could control this smart plug by just asking my Google Home Mini to do it. Well, I figured out that this was not possible, but now it is possible using this device. Now this is a Matter Zigbee bridge from Third Reality that allows Zigbee devices to connect to Google Home, Apple Home, Alexa or any other smart home ecosystem using Matter. So now we will look at how we can connect Zigbee devices to all smart home ecosystem as well as see how it works, how you can control the devices, also look at some of the downfalls of connecting Zigbee devices using Matter. So with this, let's get started. So right now I have this matter bridge from third reality and first what we are going to do is we are going to connect this to home assistant. So for this let's go to settings, devices and services and let's look at the integration of matter server inside home assistant here. So previously I had created a video in which I had connected this matter plug. Now let's connect this matter bridge. So let me power on this device now. And once you power it on, this light will start blinking. That means it has now gone into the pairing phase. So it's a rapidly blinking LED right now. And let's go ahead and scan the QR code. So right now I'm going to scan this and I'm going to click on setup. And then here I'm going to choose home assistant. Now here it will search the device, connect the device and then provide it matter credentials such that it can connect this device to a Wi-Fi right now. So let this setup complete right now. So the device is now added to home assistant. I'm going to click on continue here. And now we can see that there is one more device added. That is the matter Zigbee bridge. So right now this device is successfully added to home assistant. Now what we are going to do is we are going to pair our first Zigbee device to this matter bridge. So for this, I have this smart plug. Now this is a Zigbee based smart plug. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to a power socket and turn on the pairing mode. So let me connect this and then I'm going to press and hold this to put it into the pairing mode. So right now if you see it is rapidly blinking that means the Zigbee device is in the pairing mode. And now what we have to do we have to enable pairing on this matter bridge. So for this we have this reset hole over here but we don't have to press and hold this we just have to tap it once and then this will turn on the Zigbee pairing mode. So if you see here, this LED light starts blinking. That means the Zigbee pairing mode has been enabled. And now if you see, we have this smart plug already available here. So that means this Zigbee device actually connected to this matter bridge. And then we were able to integrate it inside home assistant. So let's see if this thing actually works. So let me turn on this plug. And if you see, it has turned on and let me turn it off and it turns off. So right now we have connected this Zigbee plug to this matter bridge and then we have integrated inside home assistant. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to connect this matter bridge to the other ecosystems that is Google as well as Apple home. So for this, I am going to go back to the matter bridge and I'm going to share this device and then I'm going to scan this QR code. So now in my Google Home, I'm going to go to devices. I'm going to add device, matter device, and then I'm going to open this camera. And then I'm going to click on agree. And now this device will be shared with Google Home right now. So let it complete its setup. So right now, if you see, this device is now added as a matter device here. So this is the matter bridge and it brought in along with it the smart plug that was connected using Home Assistant. So if you see here, I press this smart plug button here and this actually turns on this smart plug from here. If I turn it off, it also turns off. So any device that was already connected with a different controller, those devices also come into the other ecosystems. So this is what we did inside the Google ecosystem. Let's try and connect this bridge into the Apple ecosystem now. So for this, I have my iPad here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add accessories and I'm going to scan this QR code and I'm going to say add to home. I'm going to click on OK here and now it's adding this accessory to the Apple home. So I'm going to select 
the bridge location as the bedroom and then i'm going to click on continue and here if you see the smart plug is also being added so i'm going to click on continue 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 once again and done so now if you see we have this smart plug here let me try and turn this on so let's flip this device here so the zigbee plug now turns on as well as turns off so now we have connected this bridge to all the three ecosystems that i have right now i don't have an alexa ecosystem so i cannot show you with that so now what we are going to do is we are going to add another zigbee device so i have this yet another plug with me so this is yet another zigbee plug i'm going to disconnect this one and i'm going to connect this other plug now. i'm going to do the same thing that is i'm going to put this device into pairing mode so the device is right now in the pairing mode let me close this qr code here and right now we just see this one smart plug here right let's actually also put this bridge into pairing mode for zigbee devices so i'm going to just tap this once and then this light will start blinking so now it's going to detect the zigbee device again so if you see here the second smart plug is also added now if you see in the other ecosystem you also have this plug added so this is the new smart plug that i just added and let's turn it off and the smart plug is off here let's open this in home assistant and this is also off here let me turn it on again and the device is right now on so this is how the devices are added now let's actually look at some of the infos here so if i open this info if you see this ip address which has been specified for this smart plug is actually the same ip address for the matter bridge here because you don't get new ip addresses for these devices because they are not ip based devices right they are zigbee devices however they are connected to this matter bridge using this ip so both the smart plugs show the same ip address but this is the ip address of the zigbee bridge now the second thing you must have noticed is that the zigbee smart plug that i have it has energy monitoring for this right but right now we don't see those entities here now energy monitoring is available from matter version 1.3 but most of the manufacturers may have not yet updated their matter bridges or their smart plugs yet to support this energy monitoring so once that is available we should see some entities over here now once this is updated and we see these entities i'll make a video about it such that we can see that we can still use our zigbee devices as is and we don't have to get away from these so now we have both these devices here right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do something a little bit destructive so i'm going to go here and i'm going to delete this device so when i delete this smart plug and try to go back the entire bridge gets removed why because this device is connected to the bridge and the bridge is the one that is controlling the device so if you remove the device the entire bridge gets removed now this is not only in home assistant this also happens in the google ecosystem as well as in the apple ecosystem if you see closely in the apple ecosystem if i try to remove this device let me go to accessory settings you actually don't get the option to remove the device why because this is connected to this bridge here and the only option that you have is to remove the bridge so that's why you cannot remove the individual device in apple home if you remove it in google home it will remove the entire bridge so with this we just saw how we can connect a zigbee device to any of the smart home ecosystem using this matter zigbee bridge now i keep on making videos around how you can make things smart at home so if you want to support this channel there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via patreon now if you like this video make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come till then take care and i'll see you in my next one